us some music before we get into the word. Starting a little early. Here's some good gospel. These are some of my favorite songs. I'm sharing it with you. I hope you like. If not, well, so you have your own favorite. The boom is on. We're talking about Jesus tonight. The incomparable Christ. Good night, good night. Melanie. TRNT. Otto Bold and Brian Lara. I said the devil in a trouble now. Now that I know. You've given me power. You've given me authority. Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Say when the enemy comes at me like a flood. I thought I'd lose hope to win the towel and give up. Your spirit reminded me of my first love. The power you gave me through your blood. You clothed me with righteousness and made me victorious. A heart of thanksgiving, I must declare you are glorious. Bless me with the power to tread upon stuffy and I'm already aware of your name, dear I'm holding a conqueror. Holding a conqueror. Holding a conqueror. That's who I am. song the lyrics just got me got me when i'm on a long trip take that music with me play that song two three four times play the life out of it <laughs> that's just the way it goes when i like it i like it it's the right spot 
Here's another one of my favorites. Here it comes. Rising higher. Try to sit still sometime, but you know, Miss Lady, we ask a bite in right here, right here, right here. <laughs> Oscar is biting music, got you jumping. If music be the food of love, pray on, Macduff. Play on. 
Here is Julius Goodman. I'm going to play two of his songs. One, Jesus Got a Hold of Me. All kinds of jumpy stuff happening today. Then I get.
that one was hot and jumpy. <laughs> what can I say? Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it hot. Some people say I understand. Hallelujah. Why you know how I love to praise this man? Because I know what you want to do for me. I can give him praise and give him glory. Nobody knows when I used to smoke me crack. When I used to sleep the kid, I used to carry a pack. No people watching me standing in a mess. I am white like you know. What can I say? The joy of the Lord is my strength, incomparable, having no rival nor equal. There is nobody that comes close. In Revelation 4, reading from verse 2 to 3, it calls him the Jasper Stone. When they say, give me a J, the Jasper Stone. He's fascinating in beauty and purity. In Acts chapter 7 and verse 53, they call him Jesus the just one. He's incomparable because he's faultless in fidelity and faithfulness, fascinating in beauty and purity. In John 4 and 9, they call him the Jew. He's fraternal in friendship and fellowship. In Matthew 26 and 33, they call him Jesus the King. He is fearless in regality and righteousness. In Isaiah 44 and 6, they call him Jesus. Jehovah, fullness in greatness and graciousness. In Joshua, uh, in Psalm 68 and 4, my Rastafarian brethren would call him Jah. He's formidable in strength and supremacy. 
Nobody can outfight him, outwit him, outthink him, outbox him. He's never lost a battle. He's the undisputed champion in heaven, hell, and under the earth. The angel said, you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. His name means Jehovah is salvation. He is the savior, the one who can save. That name creates a lot of controversy. Some no longer want to use the name Jesus. They say you should call him Yeshua because they do not recognize the name Jesus. Well, I just beg to differ. Jesus is the bright name, full of light and life. He said, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the sweet name, <clears throat> full of the, of the perfume of praise. Jesus is uh, uh, the heart name, full of the music of love. Jesus is the rest name, full of purpose and of peace. Jesus is the best name, full of the treasure of truth. Jesus is the the great name, full of wealth and the wealth of wisdom. Jesus is the gift name, full of the grace of God. Oh, yes, you can hear that name all you want to. But God has given him a name and has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus and he alone is Lord to the glory of of God the Father. Hey, I got my helper just touched down. Yeah, like sweet perfume is the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, the songwriter says, What a wonderful name! The name of Jesus, reaching high and far than the brightest star. Oh, yes, it's sweeter than the song they sing in heaven. Let the world proclaim evermore the same. What a lovely name! Oh, bless him. There is none like Jesus. He cannot be compared. His claim, Jesus, his claims, they are clear and they are explicit. I am that I am. Yes, clear, I am, explicit, that I am. I will be what I will be. I will be what you want me to be when I'm ready to be. Oh, yes. I am the light of the world, he said. Ain't nobody can shine as bright as the brilliance of the Son of God. I am the door. I am the entry point into all the things and the treasures of God. You can't come any other way but by me. Anyone who tries another place is a thief and a robber. I'm the door. You've got to come through me. Yes, yes. God's love, the song used to say in Sunday school days, is so high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get around it. You have to come through the door. Oh, yes, I'm the door. I am the good shepherd. Yes, I lead my sheep. I guide my sheep. I feed my sheep. I rest my sheep. Oh, bless the Lord. I prepare a table before my sheep in the presence of the wolves and lions. Oh, glory to God. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way maker. I'm the miracle worker. There is none like me. I'm incomparable. Check the world over. None were born like me of a virgin. None live like me, a sinless life. None did miracles like me. None raised the dead like me. None went to the grave like me. None kicked the end of death out and put death to death and came out of the tomb like me. No one ascended on high and has gone to prepare a place for his people like me. And no one will come again like me. I'm the incomparable one. Oh, glory to his name. Oh, yes. He, Jesus, here when we discover him, we discover uh, every nourishing food, the bread of life and the milk from heaven. Yes, he comes to bring liberty that is necessary for every soul that the enemy has put in prison. And when he makes a claim, he claims it simply. He claims it calmly. I am the son. I'm the savior. I'm the shepherd. I'm the substance of life. Yes, yes. I'm the conqueror of death. I'm the forgiver of sin. I will quench every thirst and satisfy every broken heart. There is none like me. Yes, he, Jesus, was unstained by any moral or physical corruption nobody can point a finger and say he did this or he did that wrong his enemies judged him and said we we we, they, we, they, we find no fault in this man no fault at all oh glory to god yes he is unmoved by any fault or failure 
unmarred by any fault and failure in his public ministry. Oh, glory to God. He was undiverted by any appeal or allurement. They tried to make him king, but he walked through in the midst of them. He was unstraightened by any opposition or accusation of his sympathy towards the distress. They said this man is a friend of sinners. He's got a lot of sinners as his friend. And it was true. That's the only thing that they could accuse him of. Oh, glory to God. We who follow him sometime, listen to our brother and listen to me go. There will be no pause for commercial breaks. I'm not pausing to crack no joke tonight. I'm talking about Jesus. And I'm going to spit this gospel until I come to my conclusion. We, his people, we need our affections purified. We are too uh, enamored and taken up with the world and the system and the things of the world. Don't you remember he said all that is in the world is the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eye, and the pride of life. And the believers of today need their affections purified, that they will come out from among them and touch not the unclean thing. We who believe in him, we need our vision clarified. We need to have a clear grasp of kingdom dynamics and of the biblical text and live in this evil world as pilgrims that are passing through, having known and seeing clearly that while we are here, we are pilgrims because we have another place we are going to, another nation, another land. We are citizens of the heavenly kingdom and we need our vision clarified because we are seeing too darkly, too fuzzy and too taken up with the world and its system. Yes. We need our interests intensified. If we are to be in any condition to understand his personal greatness, we need our interests intensified. We have to intensify our interest in him, find out more about him, who he really is. Because for the most part, all some people can say of Jesus is that he is king of kings and lord of lords. How small a whisper God's people make concerning Jesus, his eminence, and the one who has uh, the preeminence. Yes, yes. And so he, Jesus, has no geographical boundary and no historical limit. You cannot make him a Jew to the Jew because he came for the world. Don't you read scripture, man? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever he came for whosoever, believe it on him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. He has no geographical boundary and no historical limit. Yes. He is not confined by any national claim. The heaven of heavens cannot contain him. His largeness of heart, his lustrous soul, and his loving kindness of spirit, outranged, outvalued, and outmeasured all human calculation. Even the best computer and the greatest of the Japanese calculators could not tabulate the worth and value of his imperial majesty, the all-conquering king and lion of Judah. He, Jesus, is far too distinctive in supernal capacity, far too superlative in sovereign majesty, far too exclusive in spiritual beauty to be placed on the level of any other mere man. Yes, in Daniel 8 and 25, Daniel refers to him as prince of princes. The prince stood up. In superior dignity, he is Lord of glory, according to 1 Corinthians 2 and 8. In distinctive royalty, he is King of kings, according to Revelation 17 and 14. In majestic authority, he is Lord of lords, according to Revelation 19 and verse number 16. Oh, glory to God. Talk about Herod and ask him what he thought of Jesus. And Herod would tell you that he could not kill him. Herod could not kill him. The Pharisees could not confound him. Satan could not trick him. Sickness could not withstand him. Devils could not stay near him. Waves could not drown him. The rubble could not disturb him. The grave could not contain him. Gravity could not hold him. He, Jesus, displayed infallible truth in proclaiming the Father. He proclaimed and displayed infallible truth in predicting the future. He displayed infallible truth in preaching forgiveness. He displayed infallible truth in promising his followers eternal life. Oh, glory be to Jesus. There is none like him. Yes, he, Jesus, he precedes all in priority. He exceeds all in superiority. He succeeds all others in his finality, being Alpha and Omega. 
He succeeds all in his finality. He is without competitor or rival. He is without peer. He is the theme, Jesus, the theme of biblical testimony. He is the key to biblical mystery. He is the hope of biblical prophecy. He is the subject of biblical history. He is the wisdom of biblical philosophy. He is the power of biblical authority. He is the source of scriptural infallibility. And he is the author of biblical originality. Revelation 19 and 13 refers to him as the word of God. Christ was unbiased amid the prejudices of society. They tried to make him hate women, but he would have none of that. They tried to make him hate other groups, but he would have none of that. He may have inferred and referred to, to the woman in their vernacular as a dog, but she retorted, even the dogs, Lord, get the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And to further anger the scribes and Pharisees and his hypocritical disciples, he said, I've not seen so great faith. No, not in Israel. Oh, glory to God. And so he was unbiased amidst the prejudices of society. As believers, we are going to have to learn to walk a different path and not to have ourselves tainted and stained and owned by political power or by financial circumstances. We can't let them buy us and we can't let them put us up in a pedestal or some job description to the point where we can no longer represent the kingdom. My brothers in Christ, come on, y'all. Come on. You're already bought with a price. Don't let them buy you with a nice suburban and some fat check that comes at the end of the month and you can no longer be a voice of God because you have been bought by cash. Hey, 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 hey. Christ was un unbiased amidst the presidents of society. He was unshackled by national traditions and by racial custom. He always did more than they thought he would do. He always would veer to the right when they veered to the left. Never a man spake like this man, the soldier said. Oh, to know him more, you got that right. We cannot beautify him, according to Revelations 4 and 3. He is the beloved bridegroom, and like a jasper and sarding stone. He is seen by John, seated upon a rainbow, a rainbow circled throne, crowned with diadems. He, yes, the son of the living God. He is unsullied in glory and unblemished in beauty. Yes, he is unbounded in authority and unrivaled in majesty. He and only he can satisfy the longing of the heart and ravishes the mind. He gratifies the will. In him we discover all that is permanent and pleasurable. Oh, glory to God. In him we discover all that is lovely and likable. In him we discover all that is divine and desirable. Oh, my goodness, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he had redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Let there be glory and honor and majesty and power and dominion forever and forever. And let his church say amen. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, man, and all that is within me. He, Jesus, as I come to a close, give me three minutes. He is the mighty deliverer. Yes, he's the great healer. Yes, he's a demon doctor. He's a leper cleanser. He's a fish multiplier. He's a death chaser. He's a joy giver. He is a way maker. Oh, glory to God. He's a chain breaker. He's a pain taker. He's a resurrector. He's an eye maker. He's a hemorrhage stopper. He's a fire cooler. He's a leper cleanser. He's an eye fixer. Oh, glory. He's a sanctifier. He is God's commander. He's the overseer of overcomers and the governor of governors. He's a thirst quencher. He's a devil chaser. He's a storm calmer. He's a wine brewer. He's a curse breaker. He's a nation raiser. He's a strength giver. And he's the nation's best hope. Oh, y'all better shout unto God with a voice of triumph. I'm over the airport right now. And I'm about to land this plane. Yes. And I'm talking about the incomparable Christ. There is nobody on the same standing and status like him. Nobody can come on the same stage with him. He, Jesus, has been cut from a different cloth. We are all terrestrial, but he is celestial. We are from earth below, and he is from God above. The heaven of heavens could not contain him, said the scripture. But he has condescended to men of low estate. The word, said scripture, became flesh. Hey, 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 hey and dwelt among us, 
and we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The, the soldiers of Rome could not arrest this man when they came with their shackles and chains to bring him to prison because the governor had sent for them. Go bring that joker, lock him up and bring him to me in chains. And they went and saw Jesus, heard him speak. They came back and said, we could not do it. He arrested us with the might of his power and with the eloquence of his glory. We saw blind eyes open. We saw lepers cleansed. We saw fish and bread multiplied. We saw the lame walk. We saw the deaf hear. We couldn't arrest a man such as this. Oh, he's all of that and more. What more is he, Rev? Oh, let me tell you some more as I bring this thing to a close. He, Jesus, is the advocate and lawyer of criminology. He's the lion and lamb of zoology. He's the bright morning star of astronomy. He's the sound mind giver of psychiatry and the lily and fragrant rose of botany. He's the sun, wind, and rain of biology and the man with the keys to every penitentiary. No jail can hold you. No grave can hold you. If you believe in him, you shall live again for the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall be raised incorruptible. And we who are alive and remain shall be changed. We shall be changed from mortal to immortality in the twinkling of an eye. This corrupt body shall put on incorruption. There's a day coming when we will say to death, O oh death, where is thy sting? And O oh grave, where is thy victory? Because we know the commander-in-chief who is the killer of death and the opener of every blind eye. O oh, glory to God. Yes, he's the man with the keys to your penitentiary. He's the alpha and omega of history, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Yes, there's coming a day when all of the great names of time and history shall go back in the dustbins of history and there shall stand one man, his imperial majesty, the Lord of glory, the King of kings, God's son, Mary's boy child. Only one man will be left standing and his name is Jesus and Jesus alone. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Yes, he is the 66 books of heaven's library. He's the founder and advocate of Christianity. The alpha and omega of history. The resurrection and life in the cemetery. He's the Doremi of hymnology and the great God of theology. He's the enduring rock of geology and the soon coming king of eschatology. Yes, he's the master and exorcist of demonology and the king of kings of the monarchy. He's the Logos and Rhema word of Webster's dictionary and the sure angle of geometry. He's the anointed one of Christology and the sweet fragrance of heaven's confectionery. He's the fresh loaf of bread from heaven's brewery and the best wine made without grapes from heaven's brewery. Yes, he's the unfailing light of electricity. He's the great physician and healer of leprosy. He's the all-knowing mind of intellectuality and man's greatest find of archaeology. He's a soon coming king of eschatology. Oh yes, and he restored a man's ears that was chopped off without any plastic surgery. He is regal in majesty, and there is nobody that can compare to the incomparable Christ, the Son of God, King of glory, lion stopper, fire cooler, death chaser, demon doctor. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. I come to my conclusion by declaring without any apology, there is none like Jesus. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Let God arise and the enemy be scattered. The boom is out.